How's it going guys? This is Andres with The Graphic Shack. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about the method I use for printing a bright, smooth white on a black t-shirt. Let's get into it. Pump the brakes. Before we get started, can you please do me one favor? Just like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate that, it means a lot. Thank you so much. Let's get into the video. All right, here we go guys. This is the design for today's t-shirt. We got the back and we got the front. It's a 30 t-shirt order. We're gonna be printing white ink on a black t-shirt. The t-shirt we're gonna be printing on today is a good one. It's the ever popular Next Level 3600. It's a very nice t-shirt, very soft, very comfortable, and a super perfect for printing. We're gonna be printing these on a 110 mesh. We're gonna also be doing a print flash print, and we're gonna be taking it one step further. We're gonna be putting the t-shirts on the heat press. After we're done fully curing, we're gonna press them for about five seconds to get a very, very soft, buttery smooth print. Let's get to it. gonna have the best smoothest white possible we need to have a smooth printing surface to to print on so we're gonna have to start off like we do every time with a fresh pallet tape fresh pallet tape if you don't have a smooth printing surface you're definitely not going to have the smoothest print possible. Especially again if you're printing white. Okay, let me show you what we got going on here. If you're gonna be printing a perfect white, and it all starts with the setup. What I've done here is I've loosened up the whole bracket so that the up and down and the angle are all loose. So it's completely loose. Also what I've done is I have a, just a, a piece of plastic, uh, coroplast board. And the reason I have this is because we're gonna use this board to help set the off contact height on the screen. So this is about what we need for the height or the off contact, which is about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch or so. We're gonna just put this board under, underneath the screen, let the screen rest on that. Okay. Push down on the, on the screen make. Okay guys, so I brought you guys in close just so you can see about how much off contact we need. So what do we mean by off contact? It's basically the space between the palette and the screen. There should be some space right there. As you can see, if I put my finger here, there's, I mean, there's a little bit of space there. It doesn't actually sit right on top of the palette. There's some, some space right here. It's approximately about an eighth of an inch. 
and let me push down on the actual screen here so you guys can see basically what we want is this effect right here you see how it's bouncing back up that's the off contact see how that bounces right back up essentially what we're trying to do is get the screen to make contact with the t-shirt deposit the ink and bounce straight back up as we press the squeegee through the screen so if you don't have that going on in your screen your ink is not going to be as crisp and clean as we need it especially if you're printing white all right guys so we got the screen set up everything's lined up the off contact has been set the last thing we got to do here is print a test just to make sure everything is looking good. All right, let's print the test. We'll flood up. As you guys know, I like to push as opposed to pulling. It's just easier for me and it's a lot less uh, stress on the body. Here we go. Sample print. Let's see how it turns out. Everything looks good. There is no ink that is visible in the actual mesh. So everything looks good. It looks like everything transferred. When we're pushing or pulling our ink, we want to make it a smooth, a smooth flow. We don't want to push and stop or pull and stop halfway. We want to go one smooth motion. And that is gorgeous. Looks like we're ready to print. But when it comes to screen printing in general, the more factors, the more variables that you can eliminate, the better that your prints are gonna come out. And that's just a rule of thumb as in general across the board, especially when it comes to white. White ink is the stickiest ink. And in the screen printing business, printing a bright, smooth white that feels good and looks good is probably one of the hardest things you're gonna do. So. In this case, we've got proper off contact. We've got a fresh palette tape on our palettes, which is gonna give us a fresh printing surface. And then we got t-shirts that are very nice. These are gonna be the, like I said before, the next level 3600, which is a very popular shirt. It's very comfortable for, for the person that's wearing it. And it's also the perfect t-shirt for printing white because the way that the t-shirts are made is a very high quality, very tight weave. As opposed to, for example, a Gildan or a Hanes, it's not a high quality product as the next level of 3600 is. So here we go. What are we trying to do when we're printing the white ink? We're basically just trying to lay the ink right on top of the t-shirt. We're not trying to press it into the shirt. We're giving the squeegee just enough pressure that it's making contact with the actual t-shirt but we're not driving the ink right into it we're just trying to lay it on top so right now what we're going to do is print the first layer and we're going to flash the first layer so we can print a second layer right on top of that If you've done it correctly, if you have all your variables taken care of, or as many variables as you can, the last thing that I haven't covered yet is the, the ink that you use. The ink that you use will also make and play a big role in the final outcome, in the final feel of your t-shirt. Um, I've tried many, many inks, many whites in my in my career as a screen printer and without a doubt for me and again i'm not i'm not sponsored or anything like that i'm just letting you guys know from experience what has worked for me as a manual printer and uh, it has been the f and ink when i first tried the f and ink it was very very smooth very very easy to work with i fell in love with it because it's so smooth so creamy and so easy to work with and on top of that it gives you a very very smooth and soft print in my opinion it's perfect as is but if you did want to go that extra mile that one step further you could 
press it with a heat press for three to five seconds after you're done with the final cure and that will give you an even smoother and softer finish and that is how you're going to get a perfect white every single time so as you can see right now let me get this out of the way right now we've done our first round we flashed all of them let me show you what it looks like right now that we flashed it this is what it looks like with just one pass okay before we flash it let me grab the camera so I can show you guys. As you can see, it looks good, sharp, but there's still some uh, there's still some black that is seeping through. So we want we don't want that. We want the brightest white we can get. So let me show you the difference once we flash it and print it right on top. So this one. Right here has this one has already been flashed. I'll show you what the difference is. It's like a night and day, right? Okay, so we got all of our t-shirts printed, fully cured, they're ready to go. At this point, if we were to ship it out like this, it, nothing wrong, everything is perfect. Uh, definitely a product that I would send out. Looks great, feels great, and um, nothing wrong with it. But sometimes you wanna go a step above. Sometimes you wanna deliver a product that is just a little bit better than your competition. This is what it looks like before we press it. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. There's not a lot of fibrillation on here. I would say there's there's pretty much no fibrillation. And what is fibrillation? Fibrillation is fibers from the t-shirt that lift up when you apply the ink on the shirt. The cheaper quality shirts are very prone to, to fibrillation. That's why if you're gonna print white ink, I would suggest that you use a very quality t-shirt. For example, in this case, we're using the Next Level 3600, which is a very nice t-shirt. Super nice to print on. As you can see, we did a print flash print. Basically no fibrillation. There's very, very little where you can see very, very, like very, very barely noticeable fibrillation. So we're gonna take care of that by heat pressing it. That's another, another reason to press your shirts once you're done printing is because if there's a lot of fibrillation, if you use a cheap quality t-shirt, you're going to end up with some fibrillation. And if you want to avoid it or eliminate it, 
or minimize it, you can just press them for about five to seven seconds, eight seconds, something like that. 320 degrees, about a medium pressure, and that should take care of it. Now, let me show you what it looks like after we press it. I don't know if it can pick this up on the camera, but it's super smooth, super smooth. If you could feel this, this is very soft. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Nike t-shirts where their, their ink is like super, super smooth. It almost feels like a, like a rubber, super, super smooth. That's what this feels like. All right, guys, that's it. Order is done. It's in the box, ready to go. Customer should be here tomorrow. Let me show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so this is the front right here. And this is the back. Turned out super nice, super happy with the product. It is like I said, guys, it's very soft. It's very smooth. There's no bumps. The t-shirt itself, it's a it's a nice t-shirt, next level 3600. It's one of my favorite t-shirts to print on. Let's put this bad boy, fold it up, put it in the box. We got our little test pal on right here. We'll put that in the box as well. Package it up and then the customer should pick it up tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in. Before I let you go, do me one favor guys, please subscribe comment and like appreciate you guys before i leave i want to give a quick shout out to my man rudy over at project pro embroidery he came through last week wanted me to teach him a couple little things about screen printing thanks for these hats he came through dropped off some hats check it out thanks a lot for the hats if you guys need any embroidery hit them up project pro embroidery guys thanks a lot for watching peace out